When you're ready to start working with audio in Unreal, one of the first things you're going to have to do is actually attach it to a sound cue so that you can get some audio controls. To do this, if you right click on your audio file and navigate to Create Cue, it's going to generate a brand new audio clip sound cue that is going to have the same name as your original audio file. So now if I go ahead and place this into the game environment here and drag and drop and go ahead and hit play, you can begin to hear the audio playing. However, if you notice here, the further I go out, I'm not having any change in the actual audio sound. So it just continues playing, overriding all the other sound effects. So there's some things that we can work with in the sound cue that will actually enable us to be able to control our audio a little bit better. I'm going to click on the icon to bring up the details for the sound cue. And one of the first things that I encourage you to do is in the intonation is to turn on override. This will give you a visual representation of how the audio is actually working inside of your game environment here. So you can see the fall off for this audio file actually is really, really large here. If you continue to scroll down here, we can actually change as far as the volume is concerned. And right now you can see the fall off distance is 3600. I'm going to go ahead and take this in a little bit and kind of make it about the same size here. I only really want the audio to play whenever I'm in this room location. Now what you may also be noticing here is we are in a sphere. One nice thing about sound cues is as far as the shape is concerned, you can actually change that. So for instance, if I go into a box, I'll have to clean this up a little bit as far as my X, Y, and Z. But here you can see I can actually change as far as the box is concerned. Now one more thing that I'm going to have to do here before I can show you again what's going on is because we've already played the audio, we do need to set it to loop so that when the user enters in and out of the specific sound cue area, it's going to restart the music for them. To actually work and edit audio in Unreal, you come to your sound cue icon and just double click. And what it will do is it will open the sound cue area that you can come in and work. The big things to remember here are you have two primary elements here. You actually have your audio file represented here, and then you have the end output. This is the icon that is demonstrating what the user will hear in the Unreal game. So for this demonstration, we want to set it so that the music will loop indefinitely. You can do that either by coming over under the sound nodes and searching, you could try looking for loop, or you can just right click in the work area. And if you start to type loop, you'll see that it'll bring up looping. If I click on the name, it will place it into my work environment. The last thing I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to change my output whereby the audio clip is going to feed into the loop, which is then going to feed into the output in the game, thus controlling how my wave is being played. So I'm going to right click on my wave file here. And I'm going to tell it to break link to output. And now I'm going to click on the output, hold, drag and connect it to the looping input. And then I'm going to click and hold on the output from looping and feed it to output. I can then click on looping. And if you notice over here on the left hand side, you have options specific to that node. I'm going to leave it on the default of loop indefinitely. And then I'm going to go ahead and save my audio cue. At this point, I can X out of this window and I can preview my game again. So now if I come in, but then if I leave the room, the audio stops, I go back into the room, and the audio begins again. This is a great use for sound effects, but also background music you might want to have to denote to your users as far as something important being in this specific room.